What's going on, y'all? What's going on? So, a lot of people like asking, not only me as an astrologer, but other astrologers as well, like, what's the key components that one needs to know in order to make wealth in astrology, you know? And there has been some confusion, rightfully so, about which planet being where is going to assist in making money. Um, more than not, people usually bring this up as... You know, if they see a tarot reading or if they see an astrological video, they'll say, well, what about me? What about my wallet? I don't see it in my bank account. I haven't seen it in my career. This, that, and the third. So this video is going to be based upon the sun and how it can assist you in making money. Notice I say the word assist you, right? So, yes, this will play a part in you obtaining money. It will. You just got to listen to the recipe. You got to listen to the equation so that you get it. It's real direct and forward. You just got to listen and pay attention. All right. So when dealing with the sun, we're not talking about necessarily money in the fashion of where we exchange things for value. The sun is going to be associated with your personal likes, your ego investment, the thing that resonates with your soul. It's kind of like what you're here to do. Um, but the way that you define that is really by looking at your likes and your dislikes in life. So when you come across something that you really like, that's your sun being activated. Like, man, it brings you joy. You know what I'm saying? So the sun represents joy, happiness, vitality. It gets you energized. Um, it amplifies your energy. You understand? To where you take action, which is Mars is the sun activated, so on and so forth. So because of this understanding that we have about the sun we need to also understand that it turns the lights on this is what this is your light sun also recognized as soul your soul soul means on all right so you're turning the light on so more than likely people are going to notice you in whatever in whatever area that the sun is in your natal chart also in the solar calendar dial and because of this, this is where you're going to garner attention. So I want to say that the major word that you should know when it comes to utilizing the sun to increase your wealth is attention. And notice how we're in attention ever right now, right? It's all about currency being generated off of attention. And this is something that I had a discussion with one of my friends before. They was like, you know, attention is money. And I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. Like money is still money. You know what I mean? Now, however, that I reflect on it, I understand exactly where he was coming from with that because it's not the actual, we both were right. It's not the actual exchange of money that's taking place based upon the attention. It's the intention, the attention, excuse me, that's garnering the the deal to be made because people are putting their eyes on you therefore it sense it gives the sense that you have value you know what i mean based upon how many views likes and comments you have now i also want to put emphasis on i notice a lot of people also say that well hey benjamin listen i i do this types of videos or i do this type of work i do this type of content because Nobody likes positive stuff. Everybody likes the negative stuff because they get emotionally attached to it in some type of way. Or people are just sadistic. They like seeing other people do bad or at least, you know, worse than them and stuff like that. So they feel that they are better than the person that they're watching and things of that nature. And yes, a lot of that is true. So I can further put emphasis on why that is true and how it deals with the sun. It's like this. The sun represents drama. So it's our souls being animated, right? Meaning we give it, we give ourselves character through our sun sign. Like we, we, that's what we do. We give off our characteristics and how we are designed by our DNA, by our sun sign. So we become dramatic in those instances. You can tell when I'm excited and happy about something. You can tell when I'm disturbed and angry about something goes with everybody else right so as long as you bring that type of dramatic flair to the screen you will garner attention and i can give you an example y'all know usually I'm, I'm not with the clout chasing thing and this is not clout chasing either however i'm going to name some names 
so that they can be grand examples for what I'm explaining right now. So you got, let's say, any um, reality TV show. I don't watch any of them. However, I see some of my female friends, they always like posting clips and stuff like that. I don't even watch the clips. I just can tell that it's bad girls this, bad girls that, baddie this, and housewife that. I just keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? However, I can tell that there is some derogatory and just irrational behaviors taking place in those shows. You understand what I'm saying? Still, yet they generate a lot of what? Attention. All right? Attention. So... Yeah, you would see that as bad or you would see that as um, not healthy or you would see that as damaging to social fabrics and stuff like that. Now, on the other hand, you got Ralph. I forget his last name, but Ralph, who does the YouTube videos, right? He's a Pisces. He's the um, owner of Deep Divers, right? On YouTube. Real spiritual dude. He'd be in the jungles, in the, in the forest and stuff like that, breathing in that good-ass prana, right? Notice how dramatic he is, though. He has slogan after slogan. He says, deep divers, breathing deep into these waters. And, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but you get what I'm saying if you know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And he goes, turns that way and turns that way and breathing in that deep-ass prana. Like, those are things that are dramatic that garners attention to him. And people, you can catch people doing the head notions with him while watching him and everything. Like, it's contagious. So don't think that happiness is not contagious as well. That smiling in the screen is not contagious as well. It is. And he has millions of followers and he's global. So think about that before you enter the competition of attention and putting your soul out there, putting your sun sign out there to garner attention to increase your wealth. All right. So now that we got that, now that we got that covered, right? I also want to explain to you in in further detail how this works, and I'm going to use some more celebrities or just say famous people. And it's good to utilize fame, especially for a sun video, because the sun brings fame, right? So we got two distinctively different people that I'm going to be talking about. The first person that I'm going to be talking about is Tiger Woods. I think Tiger Woods is an interesting case because Tiger Woods has his son in the fourth house. So the fourth house represents family, legacy, nurturing, you know, um, and it's, it's pretty, the fourth house is pretty consolidated. Like there's not much going on. And, you know, savings, legacy, family, boom, foundation, roots. Okay, we got it. Other houses are more expansive, but that's what you got in the fourth house. So you may ask yourself, well, how can someone with a son in the fourth house become Tiger Woods? I don't get it because and this is why you got to be able to differentiate the planets when it comes to wealth. Like on the most fundamental level, the sun represents gold. OK, now where can you get gold right now? It's being hoarded by few people. They got to they got to account it for, but it's being hoarded and it's being stored away in super vaults that no one can really get to. Yeah, you can say you own some. You can buy some through the minting process and stuff like that. Sure. But when you think about it is for what? For storage, for storing wealth. Anyway, no one's running around with gold coins in their pocket to do exchanges with. You get what I'm saying? So that's the same way that I need you to look at your soul when that's being interpreted, interpreted in these discussions in this discussion rather so with tiger woods and you look at the sun being in the fourth house you gotta again look at attention but to give more detail to it the sign is going to mean a lot to whatever house that your son is in as well so the sign that's in tiger woods fourth house is capricorn now if you didn't know about tiger woods right well first of all when did he become famous? 1996, I believe, when he entered the PGA Golf Tournament. I think he won two out of eight titles that year or something like that. And what had happened was, or what you may not know about Tiger Woods is, he's been doing this since he was 18 months old. 18 months, he had a golf club in his hand and was swinging that club. So first thing that you got to look at is, okay, how is that? Why is that? It's because the son is inside of the fourth house, which means family. 
And a fourth house can represent either the father or the mother. His father took a prominent role in his life and put that golf club in his hand and helped train him and train him and bring him up in golf the entire time. So he has strong family roots. He had a strong, prominent figure that paid attention to him. And with Capricorn being there, the craft got honed via discipline. All right. There's no real need to complicate this. The craft got honed via discipline represented by Capricorn. And Capricorn also represents the operations of business. So I'm pretty sure his father knew that this was a disciplinary method that can train him up to become an expert, an expert golfer, which is business, right? Sure, it's sports, but it's still business. It's sports business, right? The business of sports. So he'd been known in the household for being Tiger Woods. Well, that wasn't his name, but you get what I'm saying. He's been known as a golfer in his home, but you and I, we ain't hear about him until he won. That's when I heard about Tiger Woods. I didn't know he was out there doing... And he did a lot of stuff as a teenager and all that. I didn't know about none of that. How about you get in the comment section if you did or you didn't? It just hit 11-11, so I know I'm making a strong point right there. But check it out. And this is why I say he's an interesting case. Now, Tiger started making money, right? And this is important because I need you to differentiate the sun from Venus, Jupiter, etc., etc. Tiger made money... Soon as he got known for those being rookie of the year in the golf tournaments, soon as he went public and became a professional, he signed endorsements deals, endorsement deals that were worth millions of dollars. All right. So if you go back to his chart, you'll find that his Venus, which is the money planet exchanging a value is in the third house, third house rules over endorsements, advertisements. He's getting bank via advertisements. You get what I'm saying? So it's important that you take this story and you say, okay, wherever the sun is, is going to gain me notoriety for the things that I love to do, the things that I like to do, my interests. And the sign that the sun is in is going to help me hone those interests. And sure, I'm going to be known for it, right? You're going to end up being known for it because the light is going to be turned on on you. And then once you get eyes on you, that's when you can start to see where the money is coming from, who's interested in you, who wants to deal with you, who wants to do X, Y, and Z with you. You get what I'm saying? So you got to utilize your attention. The ability to be shown attention is what I mean to say when it comes to the sun. Let's look at Oprah Winfrey, another person, right? Oprah Winfrey, she signed her first million dollar deal in like 86, I believe. She had a TV uh, network show in Chicago. She started off with a half hour show, signed a million dollar contract in 86. That's deep, right? So where's her placements at? Well, first of all, her son is in the sign of Aquarius and Aquarius rules over networks. So to have a radio network, a distribution of information over things that are owned by electricity and technology, which is radio frequencies, you get the picture. You understand her son is in that sign and she was known, right? Attention was given to her for being in the field of radio ruled by Aquarius. Real simple and direct. Now, the money came in. You might say, well, that's a bit different than Tiger Woods, right? Nobody came to Tiger Woods house ruled by the fourth house and said, hey, you know, here goes some money. Let's put him in a Skittles commercial. Now, it didn't work like that, right? No, because he had to show discipline. Capricorn usually takes time. It's a gradual growth. And it took him about 18 years to get to that point. Oprah, on the other hand, she got the show. She got the deal. She got the money right there. Oprah has son in the second house. So that's the first thing to take note of. So she's going to have more attention on her as an individual than Tiger Woods would have because the second house is about the person. It's about the individual, but the materialistic attitude of the individual, you know, and how much they are vocal because the second house naturally ruled by Taurus naturally rules the throat. She was on a radio show, a talk show. You get what I'm saying? It's right in front of our faces, but... Not only that, the money, right? We want to talk about the money because we're talking about increasing our wealth through the sun. Venus is conjunct 
the sun in Oprah's second house. Venus rules over the second house naturally, and Venus is the planet of money. So she was able to establish relationships based upon what she what her likes were. Her likes were talking that's what she does. You know, she's an Aquarius, that's what she does. Provides information on a large expansive scale because Aquarius is the most expansive of the air signs. So that's it. I'm not going to drag this because dragging it is just going to give you more information to look at and try to sort out. And it's just going to potentially cause confusion and distort this. There's no need for that. Just pay attention to exactly what I said. Look at your natal chart and apply this to yourself. You can also look up other people's natal charts online and you can study their natal charts to see if there's any type of flaw of what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? If you have an issue studying your own self. You know, sometimes it's helpful to study someone else. So, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Until next time.